Hello, everyone. My name is Victor Canyas, and my uh, group members are Darius Smith and Sam Riches. Today, we're going to be talking about dermatos dermatomyositis. Dermatomyositis is, skin, is, a, is an autoimmune condition that causes skin changes and muscle weaknesses. We are going to play a video to watch an overview over the is this this? So dermatomyositis is part of a heterogeneous collection of rare diseases called uh, idiopathic inflammatory myopathies or autoimmune myopathies. But in few words, dermatomyositis is a disease that affects the skin and the muscle. It can affect the skin and cause a characteristic skin rash, which means that when we see it, we know that this is dermatomyositis. It's uh, usually in sun exposed areas, like uh, it can cause a V shaped rash uh, of the upper chest, a shawl like sign uh, over the upper back, over the knuckles uh, with, uh, or the elbows. It uh, reminds us of someone being uh, out in the sun um, and having a suntan. Uh, but in reality, this is just the skin rash of dermatomyositis. And it can also, also affect the face and especially the eyelids, that comes from a dilatation of the vessels in the area. People can also have an erythematous rash of the face that is called malar rash. And this is something that we can see in lupus as well. But the difference between the two diseases is that in dermatomyositis, it can affect the whole face, whereas in lupus, it spares the nasal labial folds. So the rash is limited to this area, but in dermatomyositis can affect the whole face. Why skin rust is characteristic for dermatomyositis, and that's why it's called dermatomyositis from derm. It can also have symptoms similar to polymyositis, like muscle weakness. People can develop proximal muscle weakness, which means the shoulders, biceps, triceps, and the thighs. They feel weak. They suddenly see that they cannot climb up the stairs, they have difficulty, or they have to use their arms in order to get up from a chair or their bed. Uh, or uh, when they try to comb their hair, they cannot keep their arms high enough to complete the task. Lastly, another organ that it can be very important and can be affected in dermatomyositis is the lungs, where the patients can develop what is called interstitial lung disease. Uh, that means that uh, the lungs are inflamed and can lead to fibrosis that has a consequence that the lung is not able to absorb um, the oxygen from the air. Next, we're going to be talking about the dermatomyositis causative agent and body systems affected by the, the same disease. The cause of the dermatomyositis is still unknown. However, it can be compared to other autoimmune disorders, which are, auto, uh, which are disorders that make the immune system to mistakenly, mistakenly attack the body, is, body tissues. Some of these other disorders are lupus, celiac disease, multiple and multiple sclerosis. The main body systems affected by this disease are the integumentary system, respiratory system, and digestive system. Some of the signs and symptoms of dermatomyositis are the skin changes, which, are, which is the first sign, erythema over the knuckles, as we can see on the picture on the right, muscle weakness, which makes it hard to hold hands about, about the, above the hand for long, it makes it difficult to get up from a chair, and arms are needed to push, um, to climb up from places. It also causes rainets, which is a phenomenon where the fingers turn white, purple, or red when exposed to the cold. Inflamed rash, which is, which can be caused when exposed to the sun on areas, on unexposed areas like the face, the upper chest, or the upper back. This rash does not go away with time. It can also cause 
itching of scalp, lung disease, which is progressive shortness of breath, which could make oxygen unable to reach the tissues. And finally, it can cause dysphagia, which is trouble swallowing. There are numerous effects of dermatomyositis or DM. Um, DM affects the skin and muscles of the afflicted. Major effects of the skin include calcianosis and even darkening of the skin. An example of calcianosis or calcium deposits is right here on the right side. Um, calcium deposits form under the skin, which can lead to the ulcers and recurrent inflammation in the overlying skin. Um, however, ice can be used to help lessen the inflammation and treat the various deposits. Darkening of the skin can occur for numerous reasons. Um, calcium deposits can cause bruising, um, skin bumps, and even dislocation, dislocation at the joints. Um, major effects of the muscles include weakness, a loss of muscle fatigue, or a loss of muscle fatigue, joint inflammation, and even pneumonia. <clears throat> Part of the lung can become inflamed and fill up with mucus, making it harder to breathe, which is why uh, pneumonia would be caused. Um, the epidemiology or statistics of DM uh, is a very rare skin disease. Um, dermatosis uh, is very rare in newborns and rare in humans ages 3 to 40 and adults 40 to 60. It's a, a disease that you'll see more commonly in elderly people. Um, it's also more common in females than males. There's fewer than 200,000 cases of dermatomyositis a year. And if you find yourself infected by it, it can last for years or even be lifelong. How to treat DM. Unfortunately, for patients suffering from DM, there is no real cure. However, there are several different ways to manage the symptoms that you get from DM. Treatment on the symptoms will also depend on your age, um, what type of symptoms you have, and your general health overall. Some of these ways to help um, combat the symptoms are physical therapy, which will help strengthen the muscles and keep them from nerve damage. Surgery, which can also uh, cut off the calcium deposits that we saw in a previous picture and various medications. Um, several different types of medications can be used for this. Um, some examples are anti-inflammatory medications, which are steroids or corticosteroid, which may be given through an, um, a mouth as a pill or through an IV. Uh, another type would include immunosuppressive drugs. These unfortunately come with some negative side effects, such as lowering the immune system and making the body more vulnerable. There isn't um, too much in the way of a cure, but physical therapy seems to be the best way to help with the symptoms. And it also stops a loss of muscle tissue. Here is our Works Cited page. Thank you for coming to our presentation. If you have any questions, please just let us know and we'll be happy to answer them for you.